Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to show you my sleeping bag. I tried to upload a video on it um, a couple nights ago, but it didn't upload. The video was too long. I talked for like 20 minutes, so uh, I just decided I'm not even going to worry about uploading that video. And uh, I'm going to show you the sleeping system, and then I'll make another video later showing my solar panel that I got. Um, this sleeping bag is really awesome. It's super thick. It's canvas outer, and it's got this flannel type. I don't think it's true flannel, but it's got a flannel type inner. It looks like flannel. And then this is my old sleeping system here, which is, uh, it's two comforters that I sandwiched together, and then I slid them into a comforter cover. And then I took a little bit of thread at the four corners and sewed them all in place so that if I pull the corners out, it straightens out all the wrinkles and, and stuff of what's inside so I don't have to take it apart to like untangle the layers. And uh, so I take, I take those two 800 fill down uh, comforters those are what's inside like this layer right here is two comforters so I take that fold it in half into a taco and I used to just slide in there and sleep in that for my winter uh, sleeping system and then I had a few like wool blankets underneath me for protection from the ground but now I've taken that sleeping system and I'm sliding it into the sleeping bag so that I can zip it closed and it's all contained and the advantages of that are if I am, this is rated to negative 35 just by itself. So, but that's like, that's not comfortable sleeping down to that point. That's just, will keep you alive. Um, anyways, so as I'm sleeping, in the summertime, I can sleep up closer to the top with less blankets over me. And in the wintertime, I can come down in here, in this part, and, uh, and sleep where I'm protected from the ground and also protected from the environment so it'll be pretty nice and this actually does have a flannel covering on it and it's really nice and comfortable so all together this thing will be able to handle uh, it should be able to handle almost any mountain climb I go on any of that type of weather on those and uh, and also any weather here and I'm thinking this whole setup will probably last me for the rest of my days this sleeping bag I got a hell of a good deal um, normally these are really expensive but because this one was a left side zip instead of a right side zip it uh, it was cheaper they must have had trouble selling it and it did kind of a clearance deal but uh, it's so awesome and comfortable and uh, so much better than what I was doing before I had kind of a well I still do have kind of a minimalist approach but I decided to get a sleeping bag because those other deals weren't weren't holding up and uh, and one of my other down comforters was losing feathers everywhere I mean this one does a little bit but this the other one was leaking feathers big time so that was pain and I wanted to eliminate that deal and also my other system was pretty heavy because I had some wool blankets in there to keep me up off the ground because if you lay down on down it flattens out and then it doesn't really protect you from the ground but wool has some sponginess to it it can kind of hold you up off the ground just a little bit and it'll insulate you and, uh, and another good thing about wool is it insulates even when it's wet. But, uh, but I think this system will be better. The sleeping bag portion is insulated with a, an artificial, some type of artificial insulation, I'm not sure. So that will be able to be compacted, squished down, and then it'll spring back to its original size pretty easily, and it'll, it'll work uh, even 
even after it's been wet, where the down layers in there um, won't work if they get wet. But since they're inside the sleeping bag, I'm not worried about them because the outer shell of this thing will protect them uh, against most scenarios, unless I like drop it literally underwater or something like that. So anyways, I'm excited to use this. I need to test out how compact I can get it as far as putting it in my rucksack. Because for transport, I like to try to get all of my gear into my rucksack that goes on my back. And so hopefully it'll compress down to that size with, with all of these blankets in there. And uh, if not, I'll have to do something else. Um, worst case scenario is I just eliminate the inside layer during the summertime and then in the winter time I drag everything around on a sled which would also work but uh, but I'm pretty happy with it it's again it's not winter time yet it's not even fall yet and so when I wake up in this sleeping bag or in this uh, tent it's so well insulated it, well it's not insulated it's just so well constructed in its design I don't know if that was the intention or not but it just traps heat so much it's like an oven and I've got this uh, the front door open and this window open and it's uh, it's still I'm just barely breaking a sweat and earlier I was sweating just laying still um, but that's what I get for sleeping in past sunrise too so I'm going to try to start going to bed earlier and hopefully wake up earlier and stuff. But uh, I'm loving this sleeping bag. I'm so excited. I normally, uh, I mean, I've been sleeping on a pretty simple, low-tech setup. And so this is a major luxury for me. I've got this thing folded in half right now and it's like, it's so thick, it's crazy.